Hi and welcome to another video. This video will be about a project that I have been working on in the last couple of weeks and I am pretty excited to share this project with you. This project idea is pretty simple but will be very useful if you have a lot of video as mine for example I have over 2 terabytes of video and I would like to index them so I can search by text or by specific scene that I'm looking for. And this is what this project is about. It's a desktop application that will let you index your video and it's 100% will do all the video processing locally using local AI model. So the first thing that we do we will grab the video and we will transcribe the full video using OpenAI Whisper local model. And the second thing that we'll be doing is frame analysis. So we'll be converting a video into a two second part or in our system which we call scene. And in this scene, we will have the option to add some plugin in the Python script that we are working with to be able to recognize the faces, to get the object detected, to get the dominant color, and to recognize also the text over the frame and other stuff that we can use and also the system will be using plugin architecture so you can easily create a new plugin and do frame analysis and get the stuff that you are looking for for example logo detection or something like this and after that we will be combining the transcription and the frame analysis and we will be creating a video scene that will be two second in term of duration and it will be combined everything that we have we will combine the transcription text and the face is recognized, the object, the detected text, and everything will be combined in one scene. And later on, will be sent to embedding using Gemini text models. We will embed that and we'll be saving that over a local vector database, which we are using Chroma DB to be able to start everything in a vector database. So later on, we can easily filter by, for example, camera name, the faces that we recognize the location, everything that we embed and discuss. And also we have the option to be able to generate rough cuts. So it will be like a prompt. So you can go and prompt the system to be able to get all the scene, for example, where Elias is looking happy. So it will be searching and getting your prompt and send it to Gemini to be able to get the action and the search query that we need to perform to the vector database. And later on, we'll be getting all the scene that you can select to be able to generate a rough cut video or later on a final cut pro project with all the rough cuts so you can easily grab the scene that you are looking for and start the edition so enough talking and let's go back to the screen and i will show you what i am talking about so this is the ui for the edit mine which is the desktop application so you can select the folder and after that you will be search indexing so currently because in the matter of time i will directly to the video and here you have the filter. You can filter by camera name. For example, the, the shot has been shot using my iPhone or my GoPro camera. Also, we have the dominant color. So you can filter, for example, by black, this color, you name it. Also the location. And also we have the option by people, by the recognized faces. So where all of the stuff, where or my friend is recognized on, also objects, for example, airplane, apple, maybe let's do pizza because I'm pretty hungry. So let's go all the scene where pizza is found. As you can see from the thumbnail, there is pizza found there. Also we have shot type. Currently we have only long shot. We have uh, like a medium shot and close up. So we can go to the shot where the magic or we can make the rough cut. So we can go and uh, pass the scene with pizza. Here we are using Gemini to be able just to get this prompt to an actual search query. So as you can see from the thumbnail, we have some scene with pizza is found. So let's go and select a couple of them. And here you can generate a rough cut. So the rough cut will be a video MP4 where it will just be searching all the scene into one video. But as I mentioned before, later on we'll be having a Final Cut Pro project where you can just open up, start or continue the editing from there. So it will just give you all the scene that you are looking for and later on you can do and get the scene. So this is the video as you can see right now. But I would like to change the aspect ratio so I will go and make it portrait and regenerate the video. Also you can change the frame rate. You can change the aspect ratio for right now because this product will be open source so I can contribute and add all the settings that you are looking for. And let's go and open it. So this is 
Let's video. So this is the video, it's been generated. So here we have one thing left, which is the training, where we, we can label unknown faces, because I mentioned in the first part that we can recognize the faces, but sometimes the system will not recognize the faces because you need to provide some predefined or uh, label the faces that you are looking to identify. So later on, we'll be combining all the faces in this UI, and you can just select all of them. And for example, this is one of my podcast guests so you can just label them so it will be getting the scene data and know that this phase has been rocket not recognized in that scene so it will be re-indexing the same scene so later on you can search by the faces if you would like to so this will be very, very handy if you would like to do labeling for the faces that has been not recognized but later on when we have a video with the same face it will recognize that this one is simon for example it will take some time to be able to label the faces but this is how everything will be looking like as i mentioned this product will be open source so i currently just have the readme file but when this video will be out we'll have the full code which will be an electron js with typescript so it will have node.js on the main process and we have react and typescript in the front end and also we have a python script and we are communicating using websocket to be able to like uh, stream the progress and everything that we need as i mentioned in the readme file the, the like i edit mine is still in active development and not production ready but i would love to get your contribution to this project to be able to make it production ready and everyone will be having a way to be able to index the video locally which is what is I am looking for because we have other provider with similar feature, but this one will be requiring the cloud to be able to send your videos to the cloud and index them. I don't want my video to send to the cloud. I want to done everything locally. And it, the only thing that we are doing using external services is the text embedding using Google text embedded model and also Gemini to be able to get from the prompt for example, scene with pizza to an actual JSON query that we can pass to the vector database so we can search for all the scene where a pizza as an object is found on. That was it for this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope you find this product itself useful. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. I am pretty happy and pretty excited about this product because I might know that other video creator or other people with a lot of video might find it useful. If you have a lot of video, it would be very useful. And just let me know what you think about it. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, subscribe and it will be give me motivation to post more video like this one. And thank you so much for watching.